Sonic and the Secret Rings is a 2007 platform video game developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega for the Wii. A spin-off to the Sonic the Hedgehog series, it is the first title in the franchise for the system, and follows Sonic the Hedgehog's quest to stop an evil genie named the Erazor Jin. In addition to the basic platforming gameplay of previous Sonic titles, Secret Rings uses a system of experience points and levels, as well as special moves that are unlocked via leveling up. The title was released in place of an aborted attempt to port the 2006 game Sonic the Hedgehog to the Wii. Producer Yojiro Agawa conceived Secret Rings to tap into the Wii Remote's capabilities. He chose the theme of Arabian Nights, using many elements of the stories in the game's setting, characters, and Middle Eastern-influenced music. Sega changed the title of the game several times, originally being announced as Sonic Wildfire, before settling on Sonic and the Secret Rings to tie in the theme of Arabian Nights. Upon release, Secret Rings received average reviews. Reviewers praised its visual style and considered the game as a whole to be an improvement from prior entries, but were critical of its controls, which some claimed took time to get used to, and its inconsistent difficulty. Sega released a sequel in 2009, Sonic and the Black Knight, the two form what is known as the Sonic Storybook series. Sonic and the Secret Rings was delisted from retailers in 2010, following Sega's decision to remove all Sonic titles with sub-average Metacritic scores in order to increase the value of the brand. Gameplay Sonic and the Secret Rings is a three-dimensional platform and action game featuring an on-rails style of movement. Sonic the Hedgehog, the series' main character, is the game's only player character. He is controlled exclusively with the Wii Remote, which is held horizontally like a traditional gamepad. Players adjust his forward movement by tilting the controller. He runs along a pre-designated path, players jump and brake using corresponding face buttons. Thrusting the Wii Remote forwards allows Sonic to perform a homing attack, a mid-air move that targets and damages enemies in his path. Like in other games in the series, Sonic collects rings scattered throughout levels, contact with certain obstacles and enemies scatters them away, and Sonic dies if he touches an enemy without any rings. Unlike previous titles, Secret Rings does not feature a life counter or game over screen, but instead Sonic reappears at the last visited checkpoint after dying, although the player will have to restart a mission if they fail a specified objective. The game contains 100 missions including boss battles over the course of 8 levels. New missions, cutscenes, and sometimes new levels are unlocked by completing missions. Successful missions earn Sonic experience points, which advance him levels. Sonic has 104 special moves called skills that are unlocked upon leveling up or reaching certain points in the story. The player can distribute these skills to four skill rings which the player selects before starting a mission. Skills can provide Sonic with improved movement, offensive, and defensive capabilities, as well as special attacks. Skills are generally used by depleting the Soul Gauge, which is slowly filled by collecting pearls scattered throughout the levels. Notable skills Sonic can obtain are the Speed Break, which greatly increases his speed, and time break, which slows down time, allowing the player to dodge obstacles more easily. Secret Rings features three game modes. Adventure. 
party and special book. The story is played in the adventure mode. The party mode features multiplayer gameplay for up to four players simultaneously, in which players spar in a turn based tournament of motion control based minigames. The special book Mode displays the game's 225 unlockable bonuses, won by completing levels quickly and collecting fire souls. Small fiery objects scattered throughout the levels. These bonuses are development documentaries, interviews, concept art, in-game cutscenes, and game music. Topic Plot Topic Characters Sonic is the game's protagonist, and his sidekick throughout the game is Shara, genie of the ring. Their enemy is Arazor Jin, a genie who aspires to erase the entirety of the Arabian Nights book. He was once the genie of the lamp from the story of Aladdin and the magic lamp, who was punished for misdeeds and imprisoned in his lamp until he granted the wishes of one thousand people. Arazor did so, gaining a renewed hatred of humanity and deciding to take over the world. Several Sonic series characters appear in the form of figures from Arabian Nights, such as Miles. Tails. Prower as Ali Baba, Knuckles the Echidna as Sinbad the Sailor, and Dr. Eggman as Shirayer. Though Sonic recognizes them as old acquaintances, they do not recognize him, and Shara insists that Sonic's perception is mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> Story After reading The Arabian Nights, Sonic falls asleep, only to be awoken by Shara. She explains that Arazor is erasing the pages of The Arabian Nights and asks Sonic to help her, to which he agrees. He dons a ring that makes him Shara's master and grants him the ability to ask for any wishes within her power, he then enters the book. Sonic and Shara encounter Arazor inside, he tells them of his intent to search for seven artifacts called the World Rings, which Shara claims do not exist. Arazor shoots an arrow of fire at Shara, but Sonic takes it for her. Arazor opportunistically tells Sonic that he will remove the arrow if Sonic gathers the World Rings for him. If Sonic does not do so before the flame goes out, his life is forfeit. Sonic and Shara embark on a quest to retrieve the World Rings. Over the course of this quest, they learn that whoever collects the rings must be sacrificed to create a link between the Arabian Nights world and the real world. Elsewhere in the quest, Shara gives Sonic Eraser's lamp to use as a last resort. Sonic manages to obtain the World Rings, and Arazor convinces Shara to give them to him. To try to keep them out of Eraser's hands, Sonic wishes for Shara to do what she truly thinks is right, and she collapses on the ground as her mind cracks due to her conflicting emotions. Arazor attempts to sacrifice Sonic in order to open the gateway between worlds, but in a move of altruistic suicide, Shara interrupts the attack, saving Sonic and asking for his forgiveness before dying in his arms. Without Sonic as the proper offering, Arazor mutates into the monstrous Alf Layla Wa Layla, now intent on remaking the Arabian Nights in his image before moving on to Sonic's world. Sonic absorbs three of the world rings and transforms into Darkspine Sonic, a darker, more violent version of Super Sonic, granting him the power to defeat Alf Layla Wa Layla, but Arazor subsequently boasts that he is immortal and will always return. 
Sonic then reveals that he possesses Eraser's lamp, and wishes for Erazor to bring Shara back to life, restore the book to its original state, and be trapped in his lamp for all eternity. Erazor refuses to do so, but is helpless against the power of his lamp. After granting the third wish, Erazor pleads for Shara to stop Sonic and save him, but she refuses, leaving him to be sucked into his lamp. Shara then bursts into tears, and Sonic wishes for a mountain of handkerchiefs to help her through her crying. Sonic then disposes of the lamp in a pit of lava in a previously explored level. Sonic runs through the book until he finds a way home. Shara states that his story will be forever remembered in the pages of the Arabian Nights, and the credits roll. An image of the title of, Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, in the book then changes to, Sonic and the Secret Rings. <laughs> development Sonic and the Secret Rings was developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega. Sega originally planned to release a port of the 2006 Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 game Sonic the Hedgehog as the first Sonic game for the Wii. Citing lengthy development times for a port, Sega switched plans and conceived of a Sonic game that would use the capabilities of the Wii Remote. Producer Yojiro Agawa, who had previously worked on Sonic Adventure, already had this basic idea of Sonic constantly moving forward in his mind, and immediately imagined its compatibility with the Wii. He later decided that this could be done by using the Arabian Nights, a compilation of Middle Eastern fables, as the game's setting. This inspired the use of Sonic characters as figures from Arabian Nights. Sega removed some of the extraneous elements of recent Sonic games to get back to basics. Storyboard director Zachary G. Brown stated that this game could put Sonic the Hedgehog in a whole new light. He could reach the top of the charts once more. The game's art and setting were heavily influenced by the game's Shadow of the Colossus, Prince of Persia, and God of War. Its cutscenes consistently feature hand painted, static imagery resembling classic art through paint on parchment. On a technical level, Secret Rings uses the PHYSX engine. Sega improved the game's camera system to address criticisms of prior Sonic games. On January 19, 2006, IGN staff writer Matt Casamassina revealed that, sources close to Sega had informed IGN of an upcoming Revolution exclusive Sonic game, which was two months in development. Sega officially announced Sonic Wildfire at Electronic Entertainment Expo 2006, then as Hyper Sonic at a Nintendo press conference and again as Sonic Wildfire in its trailers. Sega changed the title to Sonic and the Secret of the Rings, then slightly modified it to Sonic and the Secret Rings in August 2006. Sega preferred Wild Fire over Secret Rings, but the latter better fit the game's story and Arabian Nights. Music <inaudible> 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 The music of Sonic and the Secret Rings was composed by Kenichi Takoi, Fumi Kamatani, Siru Okamoto and Hideaki Kobayashi of Wave Master. Steve Conte and Runbleby performed the vocal tracks. The music maintains the guitar-based rock style of previous Sonic titles, adding elements of traditional Middle Eastern music to complement the game's theme and aesthetic. 
Sega released a video game soundtrack album, Seven Rings in Hand, Sonic and the Secret Rings original soundtrack, on March 15, 2007. The main theme and album title track of Secret Rings is, Seven Rings in Hand. Reception Sonic and the Secret Rings received a score of 69 100s on review aggregator Metacritic. The site classifies its score as mixed or average. The game charted well. It was the 11th best-selling game of February 2007 worldwide and third for the Wii. It proved the best-selling Wii game and fifth among all platforms in the United Kingdom. In North America, it was 13th overall, and 4th for the Wii, with 83,000 copies. In June, July, and August 2007, the game was the 4th, 3rd, and 7th best-selling game for the Wii, respectively. The game received a platinum. Sales Award from the Entertainment and Leisure Software Publishers Association (ELSPA), indicating sales of at least 300,000 copies in the United Kingdom. Critics felt Secret Rings was a general improvement over recent Sonic games, whose popularity and critical reception had declined. According to Empire, which gave the game three fifths stars, Secret Rings reclaims the bewildering blend of platforming and racing that made the series famous", while "...fixing the erratic stop-start gameplay that marred recent editions", and showcasing "...the best graphics the Wii has to offer this side of Zelda". However, the occasionally sluggish controls and spasmodic in-game camera mean Sonic's Wii debut is far from perfect." Electronic Gaming Monthly stated that it, "...does a decent job at stopping the bleeding caused by the recent 360, PS3, PSP Sonics." And 1UP.com's Shane Bettenhausen wrote that the Sonic series was "...definitely on the mend," after suffering progressively worse games after the release of Sonic Adventure. Gamespy's Patrick Joint agreed, writing that Sonic had been "...reanimated to a lurching existence." IGN's Matt Casamassina, Nintendo Power's Chris Shepard, and GameSpot's Greg Muller named Secret Rings the best 3D Sonic game, but criticized the 3D titles in general. Eurogamer's Rob Fahey praised the game for employing Sonic as the only playable character. The game's level design received mixed reviews. Joint preferred fast levels and felt that the ones requiring players to move carefully detracted from the experience. Bettenhausen praised the visual appeal of Secret Rings and compared it to that of Resident Evil 4, a game which critics acclaimed for its visuals. Casamassina agreed that the Sonic team has done a lot with the seven levels and praised the varying missions and levels' aesthetic contrast. However, he criticized the placement of obstacles. Fahey denounced levels, "...avoidable blind spots and leaps of faith," and found the number of stages and their re-use over multiple missions, "...a little bit disconcerting." He conceded that it added to the game's replay value, comparing the levels to tracks in racing games, control and camera movement concerned reviewers. Bettenhausen called the controls, "...a tad reckless at first, Sonic's momentum takes some getting used to, and trying to go in reverse is a pain, but become more natural and fluid as you get acclimated to the fast-paced, twitchy action." 
Casamassina and Muller offered similar opinions, while Shepard criticized the game's low camera angle and arbitrary targeting system. Bettenhausen dismissed the game's multiplayer mode as a failed adaptation of the Mario Party series. Fahey concurred, adding that a multiplayer racing mode would have been preferable to lame minigames. Casamassina compared the games to those in Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz. Only a handful of them really stand out and some are downright pointless, but overall gamers will probably be happy that they were included." Shepard agreed, but decried the necessity to play the story mode extensively to unlock some of the party mode's best features. Topic Legacy To mark Sonic's introduction in the 2008 Wii game Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Nintendo used Seven Rings in Hand and other Sonic series music as backing for the Green Hill Zone stage. Sonic Team and Sega later created Sonic and the Black Knight, a sequel to Secret Rings released on March 3, 2009. The two form the storybook series, Secret Rings is based on Arabian Nights, and Black Knight cast Sonic into the world of King Arthur. On March 18, Secret Rings and Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz were compiled in a Wii release titled Sega Fun Pack, Sonic and the Secret Rings and Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz. Topic Notes Topic See also Other video game appearances of One Thousand and One Nights